Speaking of making ourselves crazy, um, you know, a lot of people in this COVID-19 situation mm -hmm. are realizing they don't really like who they um, chose as a mate or who they got pregnant or who they <laughs> married. And, and right. And they're like, damn, when I'm not on appearances every week and I kind of hate you. So how, <laughs> <would> you, <laughs> how have you been able to manage? That's why we give her those kind of questions. See? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Um, how have you managed to keep it totally during, during the lockdown? How have you managed to keep it? Because a lot of people ain't making it through this COVID. Okay. Well, first and foremost, I know I know you got I know y'all mentioned having the Lord, you know, guide us and everything in, in, in our lives. A lot of us, I'm so grateful for the life that I I have to where we have the space to uh get away from each other or to put some distance in between because sometimes when you feel like you're on top of somebody. They, it, it may not even have anything to do with them. They just may make you crazy based off of something that you're going through and they trigger something. Um, I feel with my son, my 12 year old son, he's very athletic. So we spent a lot of time together as far as releasing that, that male testosterone stuff by like working out. I have a small gym in my house. So that was, that was very fortunate to have that. But me and him would bike ride and we would run um, to where we got to get that male aggression out, out there in the, in the world. And, and, and we got to like, just really spend some time as far as he and I, as far as a father and son. And I try to do that with all my kids, but I think you got to be able to have the mindset to know that, Hey, I need a timeout. I got to just step away from you. And it's nothing like personal. It's for me so that I don't re I don't react in a way that's just, you know, disrespectful or just violent. And I know a lot of people are struggling given their circumstances because you can make something work where if you don't have the resources like other things by saying, you know what, let me get myself right by, hey, you know what, let me talk to someone who's positive. Let me just take a walk. And a lot of people aren't doing that self-care for themselves so that they can maintain that balance for themselves because they don't know how to, mm -hmm. you know? That's I'm, what I was going to ask you. I was going to mm -hmm. ask you, you know, like, I know that we don't mean to get all in your business, but we mean to get all in your business you know what <laughs> I mean? because that's what we do. You know what I mean? And I know that it's not just us three. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, I got somebody over here texting me and asking me to ask him this. You know what I mean? <laughs> Girl, are they still together? And Girl. What's going on? Because you have boys, right? The people are asking questions. Boys and two girls. You had two girls? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. So I'm going to flip it then. I'm going to flip uh -huh. it. Because I know that you've been acting since you were like 21 years old. And then you yeah. you landed the role as Derwin Davis mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. The Game. Yeah. And with my girl, Wendy Raquel Robinson. I got to give her a shout out because that's my mofo. Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> tell me one, how it is to work with Wendy. And then the other is like, I know I'm asking a two-part question. No, no, no. I gotta take my time. And how did you, you know, land the part, the role? How did you, how did you get that opportunity? Well, here, here's the thing, Lisa. It's like when you when you and you you come to Hollywood. This is like oh, you excuse me, work. Pooch, 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 yeah. real quick. I don't know if you noticed the facial facial expressions of Miss Lisa Ray. Let me get up close so we can see the color of my eyes. Every time you oh. say Lisa and you leave out the Ray, she get real oh. angry. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm got these Lisa diamonds from Players Club. Oh, cool. It's oh, like cool. she got a she got a twitch when the little thing that just happened. So I, I I wanted to just stop you real quick so you can rephrase. You got to put I the Ray on there. This is one name. It's Lisa Ray. Okay, action. Go ahead. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Tell me, how did you get that opportunity? Here, here's the thing. When you come to Hollywood, you just want to work. So I, I've been doing my thing, and I had an audition for, for, for the game, and I first went in for Malik, and then I went in for Derwin. But then I became Derwin, and I didn't get it at first. I don't know if you guys... Do you guys know who Aldous Hodge is? Actor Aldous mm -hmm. Hodge? Yep. Well, Aldous, he was the original Derwin. Aldous, that's wow. my man doing his thing right now. He was the original Derwin. Wow. And then, I, yeah, I replaced him as, as Derwin, and then the rest is history, you know? And so I, I went in there. I had a work session with Mara, Mara Brock and Kill, the you know, creator of the mm -hmm. show. She gave me some notes, and we were off and running. But working with Wendy... It's like it, working with one of these literally like sitting here listening to y'all. It's just nonstop laughs. Jokes. Mm -hmm. and 
she is always the life of a party without even like trying. She's just her. And yeah. it's just a beautiful thing. She brings everyone together like a family. So it's just dope. I love Wendy. That's that elder. Yeah. That's that, that, that path. You know what I mean? That's that <laughs> homage to the person that came before you. She is. She's a beautiful spirit. So mm -hmm. I feel you I know exactly Gucci, what you're saying. Gucci, you mm -hmm. came in as a, so you replaced, oh boy, as Darwin. So how did you feel? Because like, I always wonder how you feel like when you're the, like, you know, you like light skin Aunt Viv, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yo, trust me, in the beginning, uh, I got all types of, they, I mean, it was all types of negativity, like going behind it by, oh, they're going to bring in some, this typical Hollywood bringing in light brown skin, like, why don't they keep the dark brother in this? I don't know, dark brothers on TV and stuff like that. And it was all types of negativity and stuff. But like when I first got the call and I, like, listen, man, I'm cool with mad people. So when I got the call, I hit all this. I was like, yo, what's what's going on with the with the game? He said, yo, I don't know, man. He said, it's in God's hands. If it's for me, it'll happen. And I said, all right. I said, I want to let you know I'm going in an audition for it. I was just checking with you. He said, no, I appreciate that. And then it it, it is what it is. But like, I don't come in there like oh you suck whatever whatever because all I, I don't call myself a friend if that's how I feel I just know that if I get the opportunity I have to kill it and that's kind of hey. what I did, you know so but it wasn't anything personal how how often do you and the cast members of the game get together now though like do you guys still hang out and laugh and stuff and still keep relationships still yeah we, we, so thank god for social media because we tend to we it, it's weird because you know how like you haven't spoken to someone and, and then like you'll see a, a response on a picture or they'll DM you and say what's up and you feel like you just talk to them mm -hmm. kind of like that like matter of fact we're working on something right now and you know we're politic and picking each other's brains as to like getting something getting something going and then you know of course we started talking when they drop a possible the, you know the possible reboot situation so we're just trying to figure everything out now but i think that all of us have families i mean i think jose just has a dog but all of, all of us have families now so we are in that phase of our lives but like we remember what we had that we mm -hmm. check each other and say what's up so everyone's doing well i mean t is killing mm -hmm. and it's a matter of finding out what the next move for us as a cast whether we work on a reboot or we do a different project, something different, you know what I mean? Like let's say like a comedy movie or something. Right. Well, congratulations to you because you're doing a whole lot of stuff. You ain't I'm just trying. matter of fact. Congratulations on um, is it um, Clickstream? Clickstream. Right? Yeah, yeah. Tell us about that. How can we support you? Tell us all about it, what it is and everything. All right. So check it out, Lisa Ray. See, Lisa Ray. I like uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> you ever watch Jeopardy? You ever just be watching Jeopardy B and you know some answers like, damn, I wish I could be on that show. Or you guess it, you guess a word on Wheel of Fortune. So Click, Clickstream is like when, um, when uh, Clickstream is a win quick app where it's like trivia app where we're going to have categories. I'm one of the hosts and executive producers to where we're going to. Uh, and developers. You develop. Yes. yes. So let's say, let's say, let's say y'all, y'all are on the app, right? And then we say, we, we make an announcement and say, okay, the category is going to be dogs in the next like 30 minutes or 45 minutes. Everyone goes on who feels they know dog trivia and we'll ask a certain amount of questions and there's going to be rounds based off of like, you know, just who gets eliminated so we can get down to the winner. So it's going to be different categories, but categories that people can relate to and that someone's going to, people are going to know or relate to each category that we have to where they have a shot. So mm -hmm. it's like it's like Jeopardy on on the app. That sounds mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. I, I, mean, I swear yeah. to God, because I be I'll be hollering at the like family <laughs> I'll be hollering at it going, going, uh, tomatoes, tomatoes is a food. Yo, you know what I mean? You know, and when it's up there, I'm like, I told you, it ain't nobody there. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't, <laughs> I ain't winning. Shot, right. you know I mean? So this is that situation where you can actually win money and prizes, though. You feel me? Oh. Oh, oh, maybe money. the queen needs to be money, on her money. Money. Uh, Oh, all right. Thank you. I needed that explanation. You said money uh, and prizes. Uh -huh. Somebody say money and prizes. <laughs> the queen's right. Money and prizes.